What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast and today we are out at the junkyard over at Westy Speed Shop and Haggy Auto Repair and we have something a little special for everybody today. Behind me is the new vehicle for the channel. This is, I haven't even actually checked the year. I think it's about a 2000 F-150. And those of you who have followed on Truck Central, we also have the 2000 green F-150, which is actually in a little bit worse shape than this one. And believe it or not, I picked up this truck from Westy because somebody handed it in for scrap basically because of its rust issues for the grand total of 150 bucks. Now, the only thing was they wanted to keep their wheels and tires. So they put on these ones. They didn't have enough lug nuts and all that kind of good stuff. So we ended up finding this black one over here in the junkyard and it had enough lug nuts for us to get going. So let's go for a drive. What do you think, Mikey? I like it. Beauty. Look, look at this. Push this button here, you can have a beverage and a smoke. Fires right up. Wow, that's forward thinking outside the box. Air conditioner, Max. Oh, yeah. Does the air conditioning oh. work? We do have a check engine light. Wow, it's, it was a little rough running at first, but I think it probably has a coil or something bad. But yeah, a little bit of a hesitation here and there. But what do you expect for 150 bucks? Yeah, literally, I have not even checked the oil on this truck or anything. We put lug nuts on it and turn the key. We have brakes. Well, that's yes. Brakes. Before we ran into the building, we stopped, so that's a good thing, also. It's got a motor. It does have an engine. Ooh, brakes are not the no, greatest. Brakes are not good. It's a little gutless. <laughs> the brakes pretty much right to the floor, but we're still rolling. We still start and stop. That's Bill. Hi, Bill. <laughs> Bill. Bill hasn't opened fire on us yet, so we're in, good, we're, in good, we're in good shape. So, so we, we are good. We're going to make it through the day. <laughs> so does Mikey like it? I like it. You know, it's, you know, all we got here. Radio works. Well, we do have a radio. Is there a CD player in this thing? Well, yeah, it's the compact disc changer in the back seat and that oh. there door panel over there. Nice. I might have to address this miss if we can find like a good coil on that other truck. Maybe give this thing a little bit more power because more power is going to mean a lot more fun. Lemon crate pickles. Get off the bill. It's actually pretty smooth when you go a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> you got there, well, yeah, you got it. That was about that was about 35, 40, something oh, like wow. that. Nice. We'll get the drift down here eventually. Now I'm just checking for any kind of drips on our last path, see if maybe we have any major problems, but I'm not seeing anything. It actually drives fairly well. It only has 164,000 miles, so it's pretty much brand new. So well, Mikey, would you would you take a brand new Mustang or this F-150? I would take this because it comes with a rewards card. Well, I mean, you can't argue with that. There's, that's a no-brainer right there. I'm with you. Yeah, it's good. You like my new truck? <laughs> right to the floor, let's see. <laughs> well, I think if we would have started around the corner. We're gonna have to start at the feet. shop. Yes. When there's nobody gonna be walking across or anything like that. Well, I think if we would start right there by Andy's, we'd have enough steam. We're gonna have to get this on video on the exterior so you can really get the full effect. Yeah. So we got Mikey taking it for a trip this time. See if he can get a little more air than me. I didn't even barely hit 40, but Mikey might be a little more insane. It was pretty gutless. I put it right to the floor and did what it could, so I guess we'll see. Was it that impressive, Andy? Uh, it's, it could be better. It could be better. It, it be always could better. be better. We could definitely make a jump or something, get it up in the air. <laughs> All right, here he comes. Oh, dude, he's, he's gonna get a—he's gonna get a run down from the shop. There's no telling how much fun you can have with a $150 truck that runs and drives. I saw the back end lift a little bit. That wasn't—that was a lot better. It did look smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, he's 
like drifting. He's loving it. <laughs> oh, he did get it. <laughs> How was it? Well, it's a little slow. It's very slow, it's but very slow. you did lift it a little bit. It smells funny. It smells, <laughs> it's probably overheating. What's the gauges no, look like? You know, Everything's good. You need to take the air out of the tires. Yeah. Everything's good. We're good. We're good. The radio still works. Air still works. Yep, we're good. So the answer to can we jump a $150 F-150? The answer is yes. This is the first time we looked under the hood, and it is a 5.4 liter. So we do have a little bit of a oil leak here on the valve cover by the looks of things, but uh, right there's a power restrictor. Yeah, a dent right there. That's a power. Restrictor. Yeah, that's turbulent air. Yeah. Oh, no. gonna, we might need oh, to. Do up now, man. <laughs> we might need to do some sort of cold air intake on this thing. Yeah. Maybe get some PVC pipe and go through the hood. What do you think? That'll work. <laughs> yeah, snorkel. We can go underwater. The possibilities are endless. So just so our fun isn't cut short, we're going to check the oil on this thing. Just make sure we got enough so we can keep it running for a little while. What we got there, Mikey? Um, nothing. Zero? Zero. Well, we might have to go get some oil. We don't want to run it out of oil because that would just totally spoil all the fun that we're going to have with this thing. So to make sure we have engine longevity, we are using Ford Motocraft 5W20. Synthetic blend for a Ford engine. So it took two and a half quarts of oil, so it's not too, too bad. It's probably, I think the five fours take about seven quarts. So it wasn't horrible, but definitely was in need of some. So as you can see, this thing does have leather interior. Unfortunately, it has seen better days. It is the Lariat model, but it does have an engine light. So this thing does not have a lot of power. And I want to address that because it'll jump a lot higher if we can get up to speed a lot faster. So we're going to check into that engine light and to see if it's something simple that we can fix quickly and maybe we can get some more power out of this beast. So what we have here is a cylinder five misfire. So I'm pretty sure we could fix that with just a coil. But since it is 81 degrees today and the engine is up to temperature, I don't exactly want to go in and burn myself getting this thing taken apart. So we're going to do it on a cold engine another day. So now you may be wondering why a fairly straight, somewhat decent looking truck like this would have been sold for $150. This truck has a ton of rust under here. As you can see, they put chicken wire stuffed in the hole. I don't know what the point of that was, but... It does have a lot of cancer underneath this truck, so thus its fate is left up to us. We're even lucky enough to find some all-weather mats in the black truck over there, so now we're ready for anything. It does have four-wheel drive, so now let's see if that works. We have a four-wheel drive light on. I think I heard something click in. Let's try to make a sharp turn and see if it starts. Doing four-wheel drive things. No. Yep. It appears that four-wheel drive is functional. Let's try four low. Neutral, four low. I heard that. I heard a clunk. Low range light is on. Oh yes. She is ready for some rock crawling. <laughs> Very happy with your purchase? I'm very happy with my purchase. $150 well spent. <laughs> <laughs> have you had the opportunity to take it for a rip yet? Have I? No. I think you might have to do that. I think you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody hasn't had the pleasure, riding with Westy in a car is a lot like going to the biggest roller coaster in the world. <laughs> Except for the roller coaster you're pretty sure you're going to live. Riding with Westy, it might be a 50-50. Now test number two, will it do a brake stand? So I guess we could say brake stand successful. So between the Truck Central F-150 and now the Hammer Down F-150, the fun never ends. So drop in the comments, what do you want to see us do to this truck to absolutely beat it, destroy it, whatever. Try to keep it going as long as possible and try to see how tough Ford Tough really is. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Keep that hammer down.